All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house, and uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I have something uh, that I wasn't expecting to like that much. Uh, right in this pocket here, I got a Court Knives uh, Mini Sabot. Uh, right over here, hey, look at this. That's pretty cool. Classic, generic pouch. Uh, um, beauty. Full. Oh, guys, this action is just spectacular. Um, while I clean this guy up, I'm just gonna tell you guys that you might want to check out fablades.com. Maybe. See what is going on there. There might be something you like. Uh, there might be some toys, some knives, some flashlights as well. We got a cool one. Uh, recently, Adelaide. Oh my god, the action on this fella is. Uh, oof. It's just like ridiculous. It's it's amazing. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna leave my fingerprints right there. Anyways, we got a quart uh, right here on the table. Let's measure this little fella. It is seven centimeters uh, in length for the handle and uh, ten and a half for the blade. Uh, yeah, sorry, blade and handle. These are how they are called. Anyways, 18 centimeters for the overall deal right over here, which means it is kind of small. This is a neon uh, from Shirogorov, and here you have a Stellar, uh, also from Shirogorov, who looks like huge in comparison. So how about, uh, look at this, like that's a cardinal, even bigger, boys. And uh, just we are in a Shirogorov mood today, guys. So that's like a Shirogorov dark. Uh, sorry, that's a Shirogorov tetra. Uh, the dark is actually right here since I mentioned it and we are doing Shirogorov Sienkiewicz collaboration. Look at that. I don't know why I picked those, but anyways, Shirogorov dark, Shirogorov cord, you know, a bunch of Shirogorov on the table, but we are here to check out the court knives. This is a mini Sabbath Tanto. It's a titanium frame lock with some amazingly designed clip. Look at this thing. This is so good, black and titanium, uh, thumb stud action. I mean, it's just, uh, it's a custom knife, guys. It's gonna be like 1100 bucks. Uh, so it's not a cheap one by any means, but it's a gorgeous one. Like, look at these scales, like nicely contoured. You have a backspacer, which is creating a little bit of a contrast, uh, matching, of course, the clip and the hardware. A little light stone wash for the finish on this uh, uh, set of black and titanium. It's gonna hide uh, scratches nicely. So uh, this thing is very slim and sleek and snappy and sexy. All the words starting with S, uh, Sabot Mini, um, but definitely, guys, this thing, this thing is a killer. Um, it's, it's really well made. There is, um, okay, there's no internal skeletonization, so that might reflect into the weight which we are checking out right now. Um, there is some nice chamfering going on, so that is good. Uh, we have uh, 3.84 ounces, guys, do not complain about the weight because it's perfect. Um, you have some nice, the, the, the contouring is definitely well done. No internal, um, not much uh, in going on internally. Uh, you have uh, right over here, some inscription right over there. You have a coert and you have mini Sabbath on the inside right there. I hope you can see that. And uh, I mean, overall, this is a super slick knife, uh, very edgy. You have like, look at these finger grooves, feeling pretty good in the hand, lack of jimping. Uh, it's okay, not too, uh, not too bad. You have a great look even when it's closed. Um, Guys, this action is ridiculous. Uh, not so good access to the lock bar, but because of the how this is designed, it's just working. So I'm able to do this. I'm able to do this. So it's okay, even if it looks tight. No stainless steel lock face insert, but there's zero lock stick geometry. It's pretty good. Uh, you have the hardware sticking out just a little bit, not completely flush. Super easy to disassemble. Take these guys down, take these guys out, and boom, you're done. It's gonna open up, you get some bearings, you might wanna clean and wash and lube. 
to uh, to get down to some <laughs> guys. The, the tent on this thing is uh, this. Ooh, 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 guys, uh, even like trying to fail, like oh my god, this thing is. Uh, Gorgeous. The action on this thing is the highlight ever. Uh, it's, I don't know what I'm even saying, guys. Oh, so satisfactory, satisfying. How do you say that? Anyways, this guy is a fidgety one. It's small. It's perfectly EDCable. It's not gonna break the bank. I mean, it's expensive, but n not like stupid expensive it's still reasonably priced because it's a custom made handmade um and uh, it's there is a lot of things uh, you know that are going on in this one uh, like uh, if you like look look at the blade i mean just look at the grind on this blade um very nice look at look at the look at the swedge going on beautifully executed right there tanto and a little, little gentle belly up to the sharpening choil, which could act as a yeah, finger choil kind of. Uh, you have a hollow ground blade, uh, kind of blasted uh, in, uh, in some way. Um, there is just like this engraving, I think, uh, going on over here, but pretty clean and neat looking. What I truly love is the plunge grind done like so. So in this um, fashion right over here is just gorgeous. Very hard to make, but fantastically looking for sure. Uh, you want to see how this fella is 3.11 millimeter and yeah, 0 0.27 uh, thickness behind the edge, really, really thin. That's a, that's a pretty cool slicer and piercer. Um, the sound this guy makes, ooh, it's loud. Not when you close it, but when you open it, it's clack, clack. Even, ooh, smack. <laughs> yeah, this is loud. This is gonna drive somebody crazy if you play with this thing. Anyways, good sounding knife. Uh, I forgot if I weighted the knife, probably I did. It was three something in uh, ounces, but uh, because I'm getting old, 3.83, I don't know, I might uh, just redo it. Guys, I'm hooked with this action here. It's crazy. It feels really good in the hand. I mean, you can kind of do reverse grip, but a little bit smaller handle, of course. And uh, The action is the highlight on this thing. The snappiness of this stud action is ridiculous. Uh, let's see, like this. Nah, I mean, uh, nah, maybe N not really. Oh yeah, okay. So no, but this is like super reliable. I mean, for me at least, it works fantastically with the thumb. No issues whatsoever. There's no hot spots going on on this one, even if the handle is kind on the small side, but feels good. Definitely is a good feeling in the hand. I love that it's so slim. Um, no jimping is pretty smooth all around as a great design language it is uh, running on bearings as a great action there's no stainless steel lock face insert uh, uh, hidden hardware hardware for the uh, tip up carry only pocket clip not so much deep carry but still not reversible there um, beautiful backspacer there's no lanyard hole option the tip of the blade uh, you can actually snag it a little. I mean, you have to just try hard. So it's absolutely safe. Um, sounding good, looking good and feeling good. This is a check, check, check knife for me. I really loved this one. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.